This is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer and today I had a chance to, uh, well this past week or so, I've had a chance to take a look at the Hava Titanium HD system and the Hava player on mobile devices. Uh, this is a player similar to a, a competitor to the Slingbox where it place shifts your TV. Uh, the nice feature with this is that it has multiple clients for mobile devices and they're actually free clients you don't have to pay for them at all uh, there's a Nokia internet tablet client a Windows mobile client and a beta of a S60 client and I've got pictures of the unit and things but I'll just run through a couple of uh, the client mobile clients here this is the Windows mobile client on a Palm Trio Pro as you can see it does work on this device and um, it is a little bit small on the screen because this is a small 320 by 320 display. As you can see, if I tap this icon here, it launches my remote control. And I haven't connected yet, so let's go ahead and say connect, and I can show you what it looks like uh, as it's playing here on the Trio Pro in 320 by 320. Now, uh, when I loaded it up, there was an option for a 640 by 480, I believe, and a 320 by 240 client. This is the 320 by 240 client. It seemed to play a little bit better than the uh, other client. Let me go ahead and put silent on silent for now, just so we can take a look at it. So there it is playing on the Trio Pro, and this is actually connected via uh, HSDPA connection, not via my home Wi-Fi. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different commands and menus you can go through, and I'll show that on the Nokia client. I just wanted to kind of show you what it looked like on a small device. If I tap this, it will close my remote. And there's a full screen view. I think. I... And there we go. So that's on the uh, Trio Pro. Let me go ahead and stop that so I can connect with another device. This is the uh, Nokia Beta, S60 Beta client. Yeah, I'm just connecting right here. This device is not a touch screen device, and most S60s aren't until the recently announced one, the 5800. So let it start up here and connect. And then we are connecting there too. Let me just go ahead and mute that for now. So uh, what's different here, there's the options. And if you see this navigation wheel, it'll actually let you go left, right, up and down with the wheel, like when you're selecting on your menu of your uh, remote control for like the DVR and things. And there's some settings and things, of course. Now, on the bottom, uh, rather than tapping on the screen and seeing the remote, we have a bunch of different functions here that we can see. And then if I press this uh, soft key for remote, it changes these bottom functions. So there's channel up and down, last, uh, mute, power, press it again. Then we go through, there's like the guide. If I was to launch the guide, page up, page down, last. So all your controls are easily accessed with a non touchscreen device. And as you can see, the picture looks pretty good. This is actually connected uh, via my home Wi-Fi connection as well. So let's just go ahead and disconnect that and jump to the Nokia Internet tablet, which really is kind of the uh, the best device to probably use with with a, something like this when you're on the go, just because of the uh, the size of the display, as we'll see here. So let's connect to. <coughs> excuse me. This is also connected via Wi-Fi at this time. You could connect it to your uh, mobile phone if you wanted to. So it's connecting. One thing I'll show, let's see. He's one for ten. He made the final out. Last night. Go ahead and mute it for a second. So quickly I'll run through some things. If I push this channel, it changes the remote control over here to now it's uh, channel buttons. If you tap fave, you can actually uh, set up your favorite channels on here to quickly access them. As you can see, there's the options for setting up your favorite channel. So you could quickly set up your favorites there. And if we go to, I'm not sure what that STB, I think it says, but this one has menu, guide, info, page up, page down, list. So this, well, you can quickly, if you tapped onto that, it would quickly get to my, uh, my Comcast DVR guide, as you can see over here now on that screen. And then if we go to this one, it's the uh, PVR. So then we have record, live TV, uh, and switching things around. So let's go ahead and go to back to live TV. So once we're on the 
live TV view if I tap on the screen it goes full screen so as you can see it's now taking up uh, most all of my display and I do have this connected to my HD um, Comcast box with component cables as you can see the picture is quite nice actually and just kind of watch it as it's playing uh, especially on a you know baseball game where there's motion you can see it actually uh, is pretty clear and crisp every once in a while you'll see a little bit of um, pixelation around the players and things like that but it's still for a mobile it's a nice uh, nice viewing experience if I tap the screen again it puts it in the small box and then over here go through and there's a bunch of different IR commands and as you can see channel up down if you didn't want to use the remote you could use the menu system as well to do control and, and access a lot of different things and as you can see this is a very extensive menu with the IR commands there and then there's some settings where you could set up uh, your device and your connection picture settings advanced settings as you can see and then there's also uh, settings for your player on the device itself full screen backlight on while streaming that kind of thing and that's about it this is the Hava mobile player on a bunch of different devices nice mobile video experience uh, with this new box, I'm actually uh, more likely to take this Nokia Internet tablet when I travel because this is a great uh, viewing experience um, if I don't have a PC. Right now, there is no Mac client for the uh, for the Hava, whereas there is for Slingbox. But uh, still, this is a very compelling solution. They do have multiple models of the uh, of the Hava as well. This is the one I'm looking at is the Titanium, which I believe is on sale for something like $149, which is pretty reasonable for uh, place shifting your TV. Alright, thanks.